The Columbia Police Department is exploring some alternative ways to both respond to its calls and also keep officers engaged in the community. Now, this comes as the department is facing an alarming number of vacancies and an overburdened workforce. Nick Neville joins us in Columbia after learning more about the effort from Columbia's police chief. Nick? Yes, Dondi. So Chief Holbrook tells me that recruitment has been going well, but it's been retention that has been the problem. The department is just not keeping officers at the rate they would like to. So to address that, they're thinking outside the box. The problem that I see with our current staff, and if we don't improve, is it's not sustainable. We've got to do things smarter um, and figure out some things that we might be able to take off our plate. The Columbia Police Department looking to make some changes to retain officers and give them more flexibility as they work to keep the community safe. Columbia Police is currently down about 25% of its total workforce, and 14 officers have left so far this year. Those staffing struggles, though not unique to CPD, putting a strain on uniformed officers who are overworked and have little free time. So we want to look at, at ways that we might be able to reduce that, that demand um, so where they do have a, a moment to kind of breathe every day. To ease that workload, CPD is considering outsourcing some tasks like mental health transports and responding to non-injury car crashes. If it's not anything that is drugs or domestic violence or um, high theft or something of that nature, I would definitely say outsource it might be the way to go. They're also looking to modify an ordinance that would change the way they respond to alarm calls. It would set up a graduated fine system. CPD responded to 11,000 alarm calls last year. 95% of them turned out to be false alarms. We got to change that behavior. We have people have to um, take ownership of correcting. You know, if it's human error, correct that. Um, if it's op, if it's you know technical error, correct that. All these efforts to give officers more time to be out in the community. We're very community police oriented, and we're not able to engage like we need to. The ideal workload for officers, according to Chief Holbrook, would be if they spent one third of their time responding to calls, another third of their time writing reports, and that last portion of their time out in the community. Reporting Columbia, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thank you so much for that. Now, the next step in the process for the false alarm ordinance, according to Chief Holbrook, is for the department's legal team to construct one, likely similar to the one that's been in place in Charlotte for several years.